Hey, everybody. I just want to point out something on Thomas John's Facebook page. November 28th, 2023, he posted this. Let me show you the screenshot. What he's saying is that he doesn't want, uh, he want, he's trying to warn his followers about a problem that has been happening to him for the last couple of years. And it is really awful because... Um, you know, it's really hard to do anything about it for, for whatever reason, social media is not taking this seriously, or if they are, they're really doing a bad job at it. And so he posts these kinds of messages periodically. What he's saying, he says, do not under any circumstances send Zelle cash app Venmo or Apple pay for reading. Well, he does take those for his readings but don't send them to anybody who comments on your comment on my page and then says they have a message for you happens constantly where people will post um a comment you know just oh i hope you're having a good day thomas john or or agreeing with anything that thomas john says on his facebook page or social media and then an immediate, almost immediately another account comes in sometimes it's fake thomas john it's somebody else who is has cloned his account pulled off some of his photos and pretends to be thomas john they you know you can make an air account with anybody's name on it you want pretty much and take their photos or it is another person another reader a tarot reader or a medium or whatever and says you know i'm getting i have this message for you please accept my friend request um please let's go over to private message and I will give you a reading. And then of course they want money. We know that this is actually happening and is effective because people constantly post saying that they are upset at Thomas John or what, whichever medium this is happening to. And it happens to all of them. And it happens all the time to all different kinds of scams of this kind, people selling shoes, people selling watches, um, weight loss prod products, insurance, cryptocurrency, all kinds of things. They clone accounts that look legit or um, same with romance scams too, by the way, they clone accounts or they are pretending to be somebody that has a message form or whatever. Anyway, um, they're trying to get you to go into private message. They're trying to get you to give them money. And as I said, it works because people report back all the time that they're upset at the psychic for um, offering a message and not giving the message or offering a message and it was just garb gobbledygook kind of nonsense. Uh, obviously not from Thomas John, who is a native English speaker and and he can spell and all those kinds of things. But the counts they get from people are, I don't know, maybe it's AI <laughs> responses or it's somebody who doesn't speak English as a as a primary language and you can tell from the grammar that there's something not quite right and then when you look at their facebook pages that are proposed uh, supposedly from thomas john you can see that they're brand new accounts for followers um for friends um recent pictures two or three photos hardly any posts looks like the account was just created a couple days ago I and mean, it's obvious to us but a lot of the victims of Thomas John and mediums like that are people who are in very emotional states. Some of them are just not making great decisions because they're really in a bad place um, emotionally, sometimes um, other reasons. They also may not be very comfortable with technology. And I don't want to say an old person because that that's ridiculous. Old people... I'm <laughs> some people would call me very old. Um, some people do. And I'm quite comfortable with technology, but it's, it's not age. It's not always experience. It's just they're not comfortable with it. Either they can't get it, they don't get it, or they are overconfident and think they can't be fooled. So with technology. And so people approach them and it's just a mess. Thomas John, um, the comment section I pulled this post from some woman was saying that, yeah, I got some guy who approached me immediately after making a comment on your page. And I was very suspicious. 
and I, it must be frustrating. And then Thomas John, the real Thomas John, and you know it's the real Thomas John because you can click on the the thing that says Thomas John, and it's going back to his real Facebook real Facebook page with lots and lots, thousands of followers and thousands of posts. And and he says, yeah, I know there's nothing I can do about it except block them, which they, they just keep coming up, you know, so you can block them. And then a couple of days later, there's another one. I mean, there it's just a trove of these people because they have, um, uh, it works and they're making a lot of money off of it. And it really, it doesn't have a, take a lot of overhead, just some time to create new email addresses and new social media. And if it's deleted or blocked, then they've got probably 10 or more. They're running this game. So it doesn't take long. Uh, the uh, other things on here that really kind of cracks me up and, and I don't, you know, I think it's wrong to, to, um, you know, I want to laugh because, you know, you would think he would know better, but, <laughs> um, I guess not. And it's really sad. You're, he doesn't want anybody to um, take his his sales be, because when people give money to these people, private message them, he's not getting the sell, right? And it ruins his reputation because some of these people can be in exchanges. It's been reported that they can be quite uh, sexualized, or bullying, They'll say things like, you're going to die if you don't talk to me or, you know, or uh, very offensive with foul, foul language. And I'm not talking about birds and things like that, but, you know, dropping some pretty bad words. Um, and so um, it's really harms his reputation because a lot of people think that they're talking to Thomas John, the real Thomas John, the seatbelt psychic dude. So must be hard to be um, in business these days. I know that the impact my channel, my articles, and the people who work in my business, it's not a business, I mean, uh, in my in this world of mine, um, are trying very hard to get information out there about Thomas John and other grief vampires like him. But um, I think these spammers are doing more harm to them than legislation and education and so on do. People are afraid to get readings um, because they think they're going to get they're going to get spammed. And it's interesting because they think they're going to get spammed by a fake account, but not by somebody because we've educated them on what is actually going on. It's just really interesting, and I think it's something to watch. Take. Um, I don't want to be too sympathetic for Thomas John, and I feel like I'm being apologetic to him for him because it is not some, I don't know what he could do except maybe hiring somebody. That'd be nice. Why don't you pay somebody, pay several people to run these uh, Facebook accounts or other social media accounts and keep the spam off of there, like just keep deleting it. You just have to, uh, it's like weeds popping up. And you, you have to do it often and you have to do it fast because otherwise, like I say, your, your people, you are, um, your customers, uh, that you are, you're trying to keep are being affected because they're getting pulled off thinking they're either talking to another Tom, the real Thomas John, or thinking they're talking to another tarot reader or another psychic who, who, um, getting a message for them and and it's really sad it's really sad to see these people victimized multiple times not that i want them being doing business with thomas john because um for all the reasons that you all know are harmful but because it's just it's just a mess social media can be a real mess anyway just want to bring that up this comes up every, I don't know, a few weeks or so. Thomas John gets upset about um, his business being taken off and his reputation being harmed by these other people pretending to be him. And it's interesting how easily these vulnerable people who either are in such a vulnerable moment they don't know any better or they're just not paying attention um, or that they are just technologically not advanced enough to, to deal with this and understand this is a, a scam. 
you know, we can all fall for it if you catch us at the right time in the right place. Romance scams, um, multi-level marketing scams, or money scams, weight loss scams. <laughs> There's all kinds of stuff out there, you guys. Just be cautious because they're all there. <laughs>